Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So uh, this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, uh, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped, okay, so if you look in the uh, description bar below, you'll see where it says uh, start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Oops. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes there could be, you know, just messages throughout that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of uh, where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take these in, and I'll be back. So, uh, Gemini, let's start your reading, and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and as you can see, there is extra clarification cards that I just pulled on some of these cards. All right, okay, so just looking at the past, I like to kind of touch on the past. We do have the center card as this, this represents the, you know, the state of the connection, pretty much what you both are dealing with when it comes to this connection. So we do have separation. So this is definitely around a separation when it comes to you and this person Gemini, it seems like there has been some form of painful ending, and um, that's how you're seeing it with the Ten of Swords, painful ending around this, which you're not really wanting to accept. There's a level of not wanting to really accept it with the Five of Swords, and naturally with that comes this, you know, thinking of just wanting things to turn around when it comes to this relationship. It's not in a good place, there's an ending, and you're not really wanting to accept that. And that's simply because we do have that six. You know, that's simply because this is someone that you've either thought you was gonna be with for a while, or this is someone that you've been with for a while. And ultimately, I feel like for the majority of you, this is someone that you banked on being with for a while, having a future with. There's that 10 of pentacles, sorry, the 10 of cups there, which talks about emotional fulfillment. You know, maybe, you know, vision having a family with this person or just whatever that ten of pentacles, I keep saying pentacles, that ten of cups represents for you emotional fulfillment. Not sure why this came to an end. Um, you're both very much was dealing with it in different ways. This person has the king in their thinking. So this talks about this mature level of thinking or controlled level of thinking because I feel like however this person, you feel this person was acting in the past, maybe there was a bit emotionless when it came to this ending. That's simply because this person felt like they had to be in a certain state of mind to deal with this ending, this painful ending as well with the with the Three of Swords there. It's like, I, I, this is the best way for me to deal with this. You know, and that's because we do have that Seven of Cups there, that emotional confusion. It's like there's their emotion was bubbling up or too much emotional confusion. They're unable to um, make sense of it, really, unable to make sense of what they were feeling. And with that two of swords, not wanting to deal with it, not wanting to look at it. So there is this um, putting a, a, a lid on top of their emotions. And that's simply because they feel like that was the best way for them to handle this. Otherwise, usually when someone thinks like that, it's like, I can't think like, any, I can't think any other way. What is that? Um, simply because I feel like I'm going to spiral out of emotional control if I don't. 
So that's where that was coming from. So if, if you felt like this person was a bit too cold when it came to this ending, that's where it's coming from. It's this, if I don't, then I'm, I'm going to spiral emotionally out of control when it came to this. Which brings us to where we are at the moment and it kind of mirrors how this person is acting. They're showing up as a five. But being a bit cold towards you, a bit icy, you know, maybe they're not responding to your texts or all your advances. And it's just kind of left you in this state of the moon, you know, this lack of clarity, not knowing what this person is thinking, not knowing how they're feeling, you know, you just don't have a clue of what's going on when it comes to this person. And also really putting on a facade as well. This talks about you putting on a facade, people from the outside or people looking in on you, uh, close family, friends, they, they see you in one way, they have a certain perception of you, but really they're not really seeing what's going on behind the scenes. There's this facade that um, you're displaying. It doesn't match how, what you're showing up as is not matching what's going on internally and what's going on internally for you is just constant thinking you know to the point of being trapped with the eight of swords there constant thinking this person consumes your mind day in day out it's this constant thinking wanting to we've got the page of swords there let me clarify that yeah wanting a solution wanting some form of um Yeah, okay. There's a realization around this, around something. Something to do with this person bringing emotional happiness and you wanting to move forward. Maybe at one point in the past, you kind of, there was some form of, um, hmm. No, I don't want to say acceptance because it wasn't really acceptance. Uh, maybe that epiphany is coming from a place of realizing how much you want this back. How much you want this. That's because you still love this person. We've got the Ace of Cups there. You still love this person. There's still very much emotions there that you have for them. The thing is, is this feeling of, um, of course, this death card. When we're talking about the death card, something dies and with death comes a rebirth. I always see the death card as a positive card simply because it represents transformation. And I like transformation. So, uh, you know, for this, it's more about you unable to transform the type of and it's not even so much transform the type of love that you have for this person but being able to it's not stop loving this person or stop having these emotions but it's being able to transform them or execute them in a different way so it's like a, a love you the difference between being in love with, in, with someone and actually loving them is that type of thing there is this maybe need for transforming that type of love that you have for this person. I'm going to pull on that one, one more card. Yeah, do you see that? We've got the wild card. Different perspective. That talks about having a different perspective on things because you've gone, the, you know, you've travelled enough to be able to see something. Yeah. That hasn't hit you yet, though, in terms of the death card and the wild card. Still very much love there. Like I said, this person is <clears throat> acting cold. Acting cold. Ace of Swords. Again, going back to that's the best way I can deal with this. This is the best way I can handle this. Because if I don't, I will spiral. Or if I don't, I will get confused. If I don't, then I would end up maybe not doing what I know I feel I should do what's best for me because this person is it's like they're turning their back on their emotions not to say that they're going to be successful with that but we do have that eight of cups that turning their back on their emotions this person is seeking the path of least resistance again it's like every action that they're taking every move that they're making that sounds like lyrics to a song <laughs> Every action that they're taking, every move that they're making is towards a path of least resistance. It's more towards an emotional, um, a better place emotionally. To, 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 to be in a better place emotionally. Yeah, because there's disappointment there for them. I feel like there's disappointment there for both of you, but this is what's showing up for them. You know, and with that comes this want of just being able to just move forward move forward and cultivating the belief that they're able to do that as well now i it, saying that 
when we're looking at the separation card, it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this could be a temporary situation. And I say that simply because, you know, sometimes we need breaks within a relationship. Sometimes separation is not a bad thing. A temporary separation is not a bad thing because, you know, the bridge of incidences. And when I say the bridge of incidences, I'm talking about in order for you to have a vision and you, okay, let's scrap that. In order for you to attain a vision, attain a desire, attain a want, whatever that want is, there needs to be actions or steps that happen prior to that, which leads up to something. And in that space in between is called the bridge of incidences. And that, of course, is not in your control. And that can show up in many, many different ways. And sometimes a separation is a part of that. That's where that time apart, sometimes that separation when it comes to a relationship is not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe the dynamic needed that. But you're wanting to, it's like you've got the king. So it's like, I need to be strategic in how I handle this. I want to plan. I want a plan of action because I want change. I want change. Yeah, a lot of passion and desire around that as well. But you've got to be careful with that. Like I said, this person is... How do I put this? This person is in a different space to you in terms of just how they're dealing with it for reasons I already explained. Now, if you come in and interfere with that in a sense of wanting to get this person back, it kind of, it's going to create this dynamic of a push and pull type of situation where the more you push, this person's going to pull away. The best thing to do under these circumstances is to allow What's that analogy to, you know, let the bird fly, spread your wings and prepare to fly. You know, if you come back, uh, you know, maybe that's the wrong lyrics, but you, you get the drift. It's like, uh, let this person move off and go, go off um, and, and allow them to come to the realization or the conclusion that you are where they want to be. Oh, you, because that, that way they're, they're coming back and they're staying for their own, on their own terms in the sense of, they're doing what they feels right for them. They haven't been convinced. They haven't been pressurized to actually, you know, go back with you. To go back with you. Now, usually we move into part two of the reading. And that way we kind of get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. Kind of what happens next. I will be implementing that next couple of weeks, guys, to look out for that. But as it stands, it's like, yeah, give this person space. Because what happens is, is there's stages to breakups, isn't it? There's stages to this types of thing. First of all, we go through this ah, excel and, you know, kind of the feeling of, you know, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm away from this person. And then over time, as time goes on, there is this clearing of emotions, clearing of th your thoughts. And then you start to remember, remember the good times you have with, some, with someone, the impact that this person actually has on, has on me. Sometimes we tend to focus too much on the negative aspects of someone, especially if, if we've been with them for a while. So, yeah, pull back, pull back, get yourself into a, an emotionally better place, you know, and let, let, let nature take its course. Let, the, let it all unfold the way it's meant to unfold. Yeah, so hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye.